I started uh, thinking about uh, sustainability when I had about uh, this age. I was around uh, five years old. And the reason that I was thinking about sustainability was a picture, actually. And this picture you can find everywhere. You can find it in a school, in a post office, or in a library. It was around 72, 73, 74. Any idea what picture I'm talking about? It's this picture. Everyone could see it. It's symbolizing the fact that we are burning our earth and we should do something to stop it. It was actually very, even when I was a small kid, it was worrying me. Something is happening. Do you have any idea how much time mankind needs to burn all this? Any idea? When, is the, when, is the, when does the candle stop to burn? 500 years, roughly speaking. I hope it will be earlier, it will be a bit later, but 500 years. Do you have any idea how much time it costed Earth to make this for us? Who? Coal, gas and oil. 200 million years. So Earth needed around 200 million years to make it for us. And what are we doing it? We're burning it within 500 years. So something has to be changed. I'll take you around um, 15 years later, end of the 80s. Three guys from the University of Twente met each other and they said, what if we could convert this biomass residues into an oil, but then faster? What if we could do it in around two seconds? That's what they started to think about. What if we could convert biomass to oil in only seconds, seconds rather than millions of years? If you heat biomass to around 500 degrees Celsius, you do it fast, you're creating a kind of oily smoke. And this oily smoke is condensed in a condenser, and that's called pyrolysis. So in this way, you have a kind of copy of Mother Earth and making a, a product which is a crude oil, a crude pyrolysis oil. The first idea was very interesting, but how to make things happen? The theory is simple, but if you want to make a commercial plant, that's costing a lot of time. So they started by that time to make a small plant. Started with five kilos per hour, then 200 kilos per hour, then two tons per hour. Because if you want to make it happen, and if you really want to make a change, you should have a commercial scale, you should have a real volume. For this reason, we bought a plant, an own plant. We just uh, opened it uh, last March, and since then we have started producing oil. At this moment, we have produced around 4 million liters of pyrolysis already, and our yearly nameplate capacity is around 20 million liters of oil per year. Interesting thing is this oil can be used for energy purposes, but it can also be used in refineries to play, replace crude oil. That's the interesting thing. We heard a lot about electricity today. I love electricity. I'm an electrical engineer by profession, so I love it a lot. But especially if you want to go to ships, if you want to go to an airplane, large trucks, or if you want to store energy, you need to find other solutions. Pyrolysis oil can, al can also be used to store energy. It's an energy carrier, it's an accumulator. Our commercial model is the following. You can see that a plant on the back, it's around 23 meters high, it has been built in eight days. So what we need from our customers is a concrete floor. We go to roll out this technology all over the world. If the customer gives us a concrete floor, we build the technology in it. I was last week in Canada with a sawmill, and he had sawmill residues, sawdust. Any idea how much he had per year, roughly speaking? It was around 50,000 tons of sawdust. And I asked him, what are you going to do with it? Well, I burn it. I don't mind to burn a residue. But I asked him, what are you going to do with the heat? Well, I share it with Mother Earth. That is really a pity. Our aim is to bring our pyrolysis plants to these typical kind of users, biomass owners. They can convert their biomass residues to a pyrolysis oil. Of course, not competing with the food chain. So we're converting um, corn stover to oil and rice usk to oil, and not rice to oil. Yeah? So that's important. My last slide. Um, if you are a biomass owner, if you are a utility provider, 
or if you're a refinery, we'll be very happy to talk to you because we have a sustainable solution for you and you can keep your existing installations in place. Thank you very much.